it's Sarah. All right, last video, I told you guys that I would be talking about 10 topics, but I never did because one, my camera died, so I left you guys in suspense. But two, it would just be a very long video. So in this video, I'll be continuing with some topics I was gonna talk about last video, but also some new ones as well. And usually my videos, I start with the small topics first, but in this video, I'm gonna start with like the big topics. So anyway, here's the latest news that's been happening in the past week. is Harry's staged arrival in London. And as usual, I'll be reading a lot of posts. So this says, I'm so curious about Harry arriving publicly in London. Like, why now? We all know he can travel undetected. He could have come to the UK without anyone knowing. So why make it public? I don't know, I just keep having flashbacks to that time he arrived publicly in LA and then this thing happened. They said, could be something major. Could just be because he's going to start publicizing his solo deal. Could just be to keep people from thinking he's disappeared permanently to Bora Bora. Or could be that he's just home for Christmas early. We'll see how the next few days go and maybe it'll make sense then. This says he wore the same outfit he had on in the fan pic from LA. This says he either really did just make the trip or he very much wants us to think he did. This says I keep thinking about an anon I got last week that said Harry would be in the UK soon but we would get staged old photos from LA to cover it and I deleted it because I thought it was crap. This says I don't trust neither of the dates written under the pics because Harry's wearing the same thing with and without the jacket in both set of pat pics and fan pics. In the public arrival at Heathrow when we know he travels off the radar a lot when it's for personal, private, free time, family stuff. So what's gonna happen? This says those Harry picks were taken by an agency I haven't heard of so I googled and this is what they say. Coleman Rayner offers clients something special. In addition to being a highly professional company, acknowledged to be discreet and businesslike, we operate on a very personal level. You can trust us to handle stories and pictures with discretion and to place them with the appropriate publication. So basically they were hired. So now let's finally look at the pictures of Harry. So the pictures of Harry with his hood up near the car was in London and then the pictures of Harry with his hat was in LA and then if we look at this picture it says this is with a fan in LA in a different time and all in the same outfit. And then back to this picture it says Harry staging an arrival at Heathrow Airport in London yesterday. So when I saw this to be honest I was not shocked at all. I mean because look about a week ago Louis was doing a staged pap walk and I went over that in my last video so if you want to see that, go watch that. So I mean, if Louis stages pap walks, I'm not surprised if Harry did. I mean, people did their research. They said that this agency was hired to take pictures of Harry. And I'm not sure if it's obvious at that point, but I'm just wondering why would they have to stage an arrival? Does this have to do with Harry and Louis hanging out at Gemma's party and then Harry having to look like he was somewhere else? I mean, I don't know. The topic's kind of confusing. So leave your opinions on that down below. But speaking of Louis and Harry at Gemma's party, we didn't get like 100% proof, like pictures of them together. That would have been nice, but no, we didn't get that. But I found some posts leading to the speculation that they were there together. So this says, the Tomlinsons muted all their snaps and we magically got an update that Harry is in London. The hubbies are together. Happy days. Lottie keeps all her videos muted at Gemma's party. Me. I heard Louie. Harry just landed in London and it was obviously meant to be public. Everyone's tweeting about it, blah blah blah. Apparently Harry's back in London. Hope he has fun celebrating Gemma's birthday tonight. Side eyes Lottie's Snapchat. Harry's in London for Gemma's birthday party and if Lottie is there with her snaps muted, which means Louie is also there, I don't make the rules. Harry is back in London and the Tomlins all of a sudden muted their Snapchats. And here we got a picture of the cupcakes from the party. The twins were all dressed up in the girls' Snapchat and they were muted. I'm not saying they were going to Gemma's party, but they were going to Gemma's party. Family bonding time. And this says, not to mention Harry arrived in London earlier today. It didn't stop to take pictures with fans, which he usually does. He wanted the trip to be private and he was in a rush to see his hubby and his in-laws. Also in this picture, we see Louis with boots that are too big for him and Harry with Adidas sandals that are too small for him. We see you. I mean, look, the fact that at the same time Harry's arriving in London, he doesn't even stop for pictures, seems pretty private. He just wants to go to the party, not really be packed. And at the same time, the Tomlinson's are muting their snapchats and you can see that the girls are dressed up for something. What's the coincidence that it wouldn't be Gemma's party? Looks like to me that the Tomlinson's went to Gemma's party. Louis was also invited. Harry was going there as well. Louis and Harry were hanging out. It's like guys we don't even need picture proof that Louis and Harry were there together. It's just these facts line up and I'm dying inside. Also speaking of snapchat, Danielle was seen on fizzy snapchat. I mean to be honest the snapchat didn't really phase me like I don't care about 
about Danielle as much anymore. As you can see in the back, it says never three times, so people were speculating about that. To be honest, I don't really know what to think about the Snapchat. She looks cute, okay. I mean, for real, what are we gonna pay more attention to? Louis and his family going to Harry's sister's party, or Danielle just being featured on a Snapchat? To be honest, I am sure that Louis sisters like Gemma a whole lot more than Danielle, and we all know why, because they're all in-laws. So Danielle, you're gonna have to step up your game a little bit. Okay, the next big topic is Louis's solo career. And before you guys think this is a bad thing, no it's not. One Direction are still coming back. Niall has confirmed that many times recently. You guys should almost take this as positive news. I want to hear Solo Louis. I want Solo Louis to rise. Anyway, this says, it's a rumor that Louis will perform his first solo song on the X Factor finale. It has been claimed that Louis will give the first performance of the new song during the live final of the X Factor, the show which launched One Direction to fame later this month. This says, Louis Tomlinson is launching his own solo career and everyone is freaking out. Sources claim that Louis has in fact signed with Simon Cowell after having a healthy relationship with the psycho boss throughout the years in One Direction. They claim he's been back in the studio and has been working on some really amazing music. Liam Payne has reportedly been hounding Louis Tomlinson with questions about being a dad, adding he's played some to the powers that be at Psycho who are really excited. They think he could be a real success as a solo artist given his proven ability to write hit records and massive fan base as part of 1D. We're not exactly sure what type of music Louis will be releasing, however looking at the last few followed people on his Twitter, it might just be some dance music. DJs such as Flume, The Chainsmokers, and Martin Garrix are amongst the list. Louis, we're looking at you. To be honest, they're actually not far off when they say that Louis might be making dance music. He has been hanging out with EDM artists such as like Steve Aoki, I don't know how to pronounce his name, sorry. So it says, Steve has a song out this year, Can't Go Home, about two people who want to be in a relationship and be free, how even though the bed's half made, they want the cage door open so they can fly free because that's the only way they can really go home. And the fact that Louis is hanging out with him and that's like such a Larry theme, I can't. So this says, I was looking at labels and distribution deals in the EDM world. Ultra Music is under Sony, merged in 2013. The original owner, Patrick Moxie, stayed on though, which is Steve's and multiple other artists' EDM labels. And they have partnered with Wynn Hotel in Las Vegas, which is the hotel Louis is always at and where he attended the club opening to create a new label. Ultra Music signed a deal with upscale Las Vegas Hotel Wynn to create a new label called Ultra Wynn. A series of EDM compilation albums will be released to promote music from artists that play at Wynn's four nightclubs. And then here's an interview with Steve where he talks about Louis. It says, we love following your Instagram. Your life seems pretty cool. You flew a private jet to Las Vegas with Louis Tomlinson the other day. Do you ever pinch yourself? He says, I'm pinching myself right now. Is this real? They said, and are you working with Louis on some music? He says, I can't tell you about that. Rightly or wrongly, we're taking that as a yes. This says, I can't tell you about that heavily implies there's something to tell, which heavily implies Steve and Louis are working on a song together. So I mean, aside from the fact that Louis's been liking these EDM artists on Instagram, Steve actually implied that he's been working with Louis. So I'm sure when Louis goes solo, he'll be making some EDM music. Fuck yes. But in the other post I was reading, they said that Louis is still signed with Psycho because he's good friends with Simon Cowell. I don't know why they're still trying to put out this narrative that Louis is friends with Simon and that he's really good. To be honest, guys, we shouldn't really believe that Louis is staying with Simon because Dan Wooten literally said that all the boys would be staying with Simon. Then the next week he said, oh, no, Liam's leaving. And then the next week he was like, oh, wait, Niall's leaving. Simon too. Oh, but Louis still saying, staying, not saying, sorry. <laughs> and I found this post really interesting. It says, so basically the article seemed to be setting up Louis' betrayal in a similar way to how they set up Niall's betrayal. Prior to Niall dumping Psycho Simon and moving to Capital, similar articles came out talking about how Psycho was interested in his solo album and how he was loyal to Psycho. In this article about Louis, Dan talks about how Louis is back in the studio writing. In reality, I'm sure Louis has been in the studio writing all year long and they've been pretending he's been focused on on fatherhood, blah, blah, blah. Dan suggests he's in the studio with a purpose, which is to launch his own solo material in the form of a solo career. They suggest that Psycho is interested in Louis' solo career and talk about how Louis has remained loyal so far, but they do not explicitly state he's been signed to a record deal. I definitely think this is good news. I don't know whether or not Louis plans to go solo, but if he does, I don't think it will be through Psycho. I think this article is getting ready for the final betrayal, the one we've been waiting for. So basically, Dan makes the person look like they're gonna stay with Psycho just so that when the news about them signing with someone new gets out, 
He can write that the person just betrayed Simon. He does all of that for the sole purpose of making the person look unfaithful, which to us is the best news ever. So basically, I'm expecting news about Louis signing with a new record deal and a betrayed article to be out in the next few days, and also hopefully the biggest hit to Simon out of all the other ones. And if that happens, you'll find me celebrating and you'll know that Christmas has come early this year. True though. Okay, and now on my last topic, the Shiam Pap Walk. So this happened a bit ago and I didn't talk about it in my last video. There were a lot of posts about it and a lot of analysis. I might not go into that in this video, but I'll just talk briefly and broadly about it. So basically we got a lot of high quality pictures of Cheryl and Liam arriving at the St. James Church. And obviously since it was high quality, it means it was taken by Paps, it was very public, blah blah blah. They all knew they were there. And everybody noticed by the pictures that Cheryl is pregnant. You can clearly see her stomach is bigger. And then a lot of articles have come out talking about the pictures saying that she's expecting a baby. And a lot of people are now thinking this is not fake. Articles have also said that Cheryl has not confirmed the baby yet, but it seems evident when you look at her stomach. But basically they attended the St. James Christmas concert, which raises money for Cheryl's foundation called Cheryl's Trust. And a lot of articles are saying it looks like Liam will be sharing fatherhood alongside his bandmate Louis Tomlinson. I mean, to be honest, in the pictures, I'll admit they look really happy, so I don't doubt their relationship. I know people are making jokes saying that Louis and Liam should learn to use a condom, but I mean, they are two responsible adults. I don't think it's that bad that they have a baby, but all I'm saying is that if One Direction are playing planning on coming back, it's gonna be weird when Louis has a kid and Liam has a kid. When you are busy writing music and being in a band, you don't have time to tend to your kids. So basically, they're making it seem like they want the women just to take care of the baby. Like, oh, I'm leaving you to go in my band again to write music, you're stuck with the baby. That's not fair to them. Cause I don't know why Liam and Louis would want a baby when they're just gonna be going back into the band writing music and being busy with a tour life. This post says, I honestly don't think the baby is Liam's because apparently it was confirmed she was pregnant from her ex. She had two men before him. Didn't they say that something big is going to happen in December? Maybe Cheryl being pregnant is the big thing happening. And when they mean they, they're talking about the RBB account. They've been posting a lot of shady things about December. I don't really follow the account that much anymore, but if you guys do, you would have seen that. I mean, to be honest, this is what One Direction is going to look like when they come back. The Aftermath Tour 2017. Looks fun. There's also an article that says we'll marry before the baby comes. I kind of believe the baby rumors more than the marriage rumors. I doubt they're getting Getting married. Then an article came out saying bump or no bump, we shouldn't really dig into their private lives. What I'm wondering is what private life? Cheryl is A-list, Liam is A-list, what private life is there? Everyone is digging into it. If there are public pap photos of her stomach, it's not private anymore and we're allowed to dig into their life if it's so public. This says if you show up with a five month bump, people will talk about it. Like yeah sure, it's their decision what and when to tell, but to have a pap walk set and then not comment on it when you have planted multiple rumors about your pregnancy for months is just they literally think we are stupid and after we had tons of front pages they pull out their privacy card exactly if you're gonna have a pap walk and show your stomach it's not private news so I don't know think whatever you want to think some people are saying it's not Liam's baby because she had boyfriends before Liam so it could be their baby I don't know all I want is for One Direction to come back I want it like how it was the boys will be refreshed they'll look better they'll be healthier they're well rested they are maturing as artists and I want Larry to come out at some point when they're ready I'm not pushing anything that's all I want I, I don't care about all this baby gate shit baby gate 2.0 to be honest Danielle and everything I want the drama to stop and then I think in my other topics I was just gonna talk about new Liam pictures and new Niall pictures I'm gonna put a quick slideshow right here because I'm not gonna be talking about it next video so here you are now seeing sexy pictures of Liam over here working out and also maybe some sexy pictures of Niall the new ones of him walking down the street. Oh my god, daddy's fuck. So anyway, aside from that, I make a video whenever I want, so like and subscribe. All my social media is down in the description, and I will see you guys later. Bye.